Hi everyone, today we are going to see data interpretation based on percentages. Welcome to my channel PK Tidbits. For more videos and updates, please subscribe to my channel PK Tidbits. Link available. So, these are the few things which you have to remember. So, you can pause my video and go through this slide. Here it was like percentage wise share distribution is given of different companies P, Q, R, S, and T out of the total shares. So, these were the companies and these are the total shares of the particular company now these are the companies from 2001 to 2005 first question is like total shares sold by companies P, R and T in the year 2001 is what percent of the total share of the company R total shares of the company R is 600 now shares of company P in the year 2001 we have to 12.5% of 240 12.5% is nothing but 1 by 8 1 by 8 times of 240 is 8 raised 24 so it is 30 plus R in the year 2001 it is 8.33 times 600 so 8.33 is nothing but 1 by 12 1 by 12 times 600 is nothing but 50 next it is T it is 11.11 percent which is 1 by 9 for 40 by 9 is 50 so this comes out as so it is for percentage so it is multiplied by 100 now this comes out as 130 divided by 6 so we can remove this two zero so our return directly is 6 now it is 6 ones 12 and it goes to 10 six, sorry 6 two 12 and 6 ones so it is option 2 Coming to second question, what is the average share sold by all the companies in the year 2004? So in the year 2004, we have to calculate the averages. Now, 16.67% is 1 by 6. So we have 440 by 6, 40. 12.5% of 400, it is 400 divided by 8, it is 50. 75 is 3 by 4, 3 by 4 times of 600. So 4 goes for 600 goes by 4 as 150, 3 into 100 is 450 comes out as 450. Now 30, 30% 30 of 350, 10% is 35, 20% is 70, 30% is 70 plus 35, 105. Next 40% of 450. So it is 45 into 4, it is 4 5 or 20, 2, 4 4 the 16 plus 2. 18 this comes out to be 5 10 plus 4 14 14 plus 8 22 6 7 8 8 75 you have to calculate the word average so it is divided by 5 it comes out to be 5 ones 5 6 5 5 so it is 165 option 3 coming to the next question what is the difference of share sold by companies P, T and Q in the year 2005 together and the same in the year 2004 so we have to find the difference of from 2005 and, to, and 2004 for the particular companies P, T and Q so first let us do for 2005 it is 10% of 24, 240 so it is 24 next for the company T it is 33.33% this is 1 by 3, 1 by 3 times of 450 it comes out to be 150 for company Q 75% of 400 75 is 3 by 4 so it comes out to be 300 if you add this 4 5 plus 2 7 3 plus 1 4 now this is for 2005 now let us calculate for year 2004 it comes out to be P 16.61% which is nothing but 1 by 6 1 by 6 times of 240 is 40 next company T it is 40% of 450 it comes out to be 180 now company Q for 2004 is 12.5% 12.5% is 1 by 8 1 by 8 times of 40 comes out to be 50 so by adding this we get is a 0 12 plus 5 17 1 plus 1 2 270 
now we have to find the difference so it is 4 minus 0 4 we have only one option so it is option 3 option 2 sorry coming to next question what is the average share sold by company or in all the years together we have so here it is 600 is common we have to find the average of all these years and here it is 600 is common for us so we can add directly add all these we can directly add all these percentages and have an average of that percentages now it is 3 plus 7 10 0 1 1 plus 3 plus 6 is 10 0 1 we have 1 1 plus 8 9 9 plus 6 15 15 plus 5 20 20 plus 5 25 so we have a carry of 2 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 7 13 13 plus 3 16 so we have to calculate the average so divide by 5 it comes out to be 33 so it is 33 percent of 600 it comes out to be 6 or 18 1 6 3 are 18 19 so it is 198 was option 3 next question total number of shares sold by company P Q and S in 2003 so company P in the year 2003 is 40 percent 40 percent of 240 is 4 4 are 16 4 2 are 8 8 plus 1 9 96 next Q in the year 2003 it is 35 percent of 400 so 4 into 35 is 4 5 is 20 4 3 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 so it comes out to be 140 now company S in the year 2003 this is here so company S yes, sorry 45% of 350 so this comes out to be 35 into 45 or we can calculate as 45% as 15 minus 5% which is 45 50% is 1 by 2 and so 350 is 175 175 and minus 17.5 so this comes out to be as 157.5 so we have to find the total shares it comes out to be 0.5 6 plus 7 is 13, 9 plus 1 10, 10 plus 4 14, 14 plus 5 19, 1 3, 393.5. So it is option 2. So that's it, guys, today for the session. So for more videos, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.